hopefully for their sake and maybe for your sake, it sounds like a little more noise. <laughs> The cool thing about chiropractic is there doesn't have to be noise as yeah. long as we get that change to happen. And that right there. Yeah. Oh, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Big breath in for me, please. And let it all go. Good little push at the end right there. Ow. <laughs> but like good <laughs> ow, you know. <laughs> so did that hurt at all? Sometimes we respond with something. Yeah, no, that didn't hurt and it feels good. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Crack Addicts YouTube channel, home to chiropractic media. Now in today's video, we've got another big chiropractic adjustment video featuring lots of chiropractors, all your favorite ones. All of the links to the chiropractors will have links in the description to their channel. If you wanna check them out, that's where you can do that. Or if you wanna contact them for treatment, that's the way to go. Now for the upload schedule on this channel, I'm gonna be posting videos every single day. So everyone's got fresh content every single day to watch. Now I'm gonna be posting the content at 8.15, that will be USA time. And for everyone who's in London, that will be around 1.15 p.m. But that's pretty, pretty much it for today's video, guys and girls. So if you do enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Hey, I'm Dr. Matt from LiveSpring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas. We are here today with Natasha. She is an awesome local travel blogger. We'll link her stuff below, but Natasha, I'll have you tell me what, what's going on. What are you feeling? Okay. So much hip pain, so much knee pain, so much neck pain, just so much pain. And <laughs> for quite a for bit. For years, said, right? yeah. We're here, kind of what we're seeing, and then we'll look at her motion after as well. So here, that left leg is short. We can see that right there on the camera. And as I bring the legs up here, that left leg goes long. Okay, so that's telling me more about the alignment of the hip bones. And Natasha, any tenderness there? A lot. Yeah, and that's where the problem is at. That left SI joint, that left hip bone's out of position. Let's have you sit up for me, please. So there's a few things there going on in her spine. I want to show motion here, though. Yes. Like, what do you, you told me you do for fun, for workouts? Yoga, running, weights. The first one there. Yoga. Yoga. <laughs> okay, so she, I want to show how mobile you are. So mm -hmm. let's have you looking there at the camera. Look down for me again all, all the way. Good. And then up as high as you can. So let's look at this. So there's a ton of movement there on the neck. And we'll have you bend the ear to the shoulder, both sides. Yeah, the other side. Good. So just from seeing your movement there, almost too much motion in the neck. So when we have a problem in the neck, first thing I think of is a loss of motion in a joint. There's too much motion. Mm -hmm. Typically, people doing a lot of mobility things. And we talked about this. Globally, overall, she has a ton of motion, but there's a few specific spots. Yeah. Straighten them bottom there good and then i'm gonna get you off the shoulder here good and then i'm, I'm gonna for this one in the low yeah. back i'm gonna roll you toward me it's almost gonna feel like i'm gonna drop you off the table i okay. won't i'm gonna push at the end and you're gonna feel that move okay. a little bit there good you okay with that yeah all right so no have you lie on your back. You didn't hear that or feel that? No. <laughs> so have you lie on your back. Okay. So we heard it and felt it move. And it's okay. so important that with this, we're really specific. Actually, let's have you lie face down from first. And I'm going to show, so we're going to recheck the legs here. This is to show too, because we have to be so specific. When someone's spine is really, really mobile, that it's just laser focused on that one spot we're trying to move. So when we come back here, there we go. We're even there now. And then as we bring the legs up, same thing. So hopefully for their sake and maybe for your sake, it sounds like a little more noise. <laughs> but the cool thing about chiropractic is there doesn't have to be noise as yeah. long as we get that change to happen. And that right there. Yeah. Oh, I feel that. Mm -hmm. Big breath in for me, please. And let it all go. Good little push at the end right there. Ow. <laughs> but like good ow, you know. 
<laughs> so did that hurt at all? Sometimes we respond with something. Yeah, no, that didn't hurt and it feels good. Yeah, you, know, you just relax your arms now and whatever spot feels good with them. So feeling that motion mm -hmm. up top and that's where that all that tension is, that right side there. An adjustment here to that top bone. Just soften your neck again. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Natasha does not pop her own neck, which is awesome. So for anyone out there watching, don't pop your own neck. If you do, it's going to become even more mobile, and we don't want that. We don't want too mobile. Good there, and that tension yes. throughout the whole neck now is different. So before yeah. I show you an exercise here, I'm going to have you just stand up, take a few steps, and kind of move your neck also. Let's see how you feel. You probably feel a little different yeah, moving around. Feels good. So first adjustment ever, what would you describe to people maybe watching at home? Wow, my <laughs> neck, it feels like loose. Like not loose in a bad way, but like free. Like <laughs> the muscles I mean? not pulling? Yeah. yeah. Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. First, I'll start on the glute. Do you feel the pressure? Um, a little bit. Now I'm going to climb up and do your lumbars next, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel pressure there, especially on my left side. Does it feel good or bad? Feels good. All right. I feel even more now. You feel a pop? Yeah. It's got a, a big little pop. Crack. A little crack, yeah. right? All right. So right here at the thoracolumbar transitional point, he's super tight. I might have to do the space up because he's a lot bigger than me. But let's try it. Do you feel that spot right there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Lie on your back next. Scoot this way. And now come this way towards me a little bit. So you're going to just be on this edge. There you go, lie back down. So I'm going to reach under you. I'm going to pull your arms across. There it goes. You feel a pop? Yeah. Okay. So next I'm going to um, have you scoot up on the table and lie on your back next, okay? Thanks. So you're in the middle, perfect. I'm gonna put your watch over here so I don't step on it. That would be a bad thing. So now I'm gonna release the neck a little bit. How is that? Feels good. Lie on your side facing me this way, please. Did you go a little bit? <laughs> no, I didn't get it at all. <laughs> at least we're being honest here, right? Turn this way. That's why I did some of the other more subtle stuff too, because I think I already started to loosen a little, but I didn't get a big pop out of that. I might have to get my stunt double to come in. Here, move closer. But I went airborne, did you see that? I did. So you got at the least- The effort was there though. <laughs> what? The effort was the there. The effort was there, thank you. See, he gave me credit anyway. Got that one. Yeah. Did I get it? I thought a little something <laughs> yeah, popped. I popped it a little bit. All right, I redeemed myself a little bit. It wasn't a tremendous one, but it was <laughs> something. We got something. I at least I'm on the board, right? Yeah. I'm on the scorecard. Okay. Come stand. 
the other back heels now. You have good flexibility, by the way. You Thank stretch you. a lot? Yeah. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.